I'm here today at Able Machine Tool Sales. They're a distributor for DN Solution CNC machines. I'm gonna be talking with Alan Lockery about one of the projects we're currently collaborating on. Welcome to Able Machine yeah, Tool Sales. Yeah, it's good to be back in here. I yeah. know we've had some of the DN Solutions machines in our shop supplied by you guys. It's been a great relationship on both sides. You know, Able and DN has been together for over 30 years, selling machines throughout the six New England states. Yeah. We've been going forward with training, sales, service, and applications for the 30 years now. And and right now I'm working with Paul, one of your guys, as well as Ryan with Simcoe, and we're collaborating out on a DN Solutions DNM 5700 out on your floor. Yeah, and that's the type of stuff we like to do, yeah. as far as you know, pushing the technology envelope for our customers yeah. so that they'll have more utilization on their equipment. And anything we do here really benefits the end user. Can we go out to the shop and Absolutely. check out the project? Right this way. Hey, Paul. Hey, what's up, Jesse? So I know a couple months ago you actually reached out to me looking for a probing solution for your DN Solutions DNM 5700, and you have those Inspection Plus Renishaw cycles on the control, but you wanted to be able to get a little more flexibility out of them. This is true. So we added the Simcoe probing module. It's very easy to use. Everything is great. But yes, the main point with the Simcoe probing module is that it does allow you to leverage the Renishaw macros that already exist within the machine yeah. tool. That's a super powerful advantage to that, right? We're not loading different macros or different cycles that we're not used to on the control. It's already all there. We're just leveraging it with this added. Simcoe probing is really nice for that. Within MasterCAM, it has a lot of nice visual graphics so you can see what you're doing. Yeah, the simulation side of it is, yeah. is really powerful, right? Yeah, for example, I have this part right yep. here. Yep, the PTO cover. I actually wrote an inspection routine to measure these different bores here and yep. get the size. And as you can see, it's not a complete bore. Right, right. So I used the three-point bore method, and I was able to set the vectors within MasterCAM and visually see it before I ran it. Being able to do that visually with an interface inside a MasterCam, get that positioned right with that three-point circle, that's a super powerful advantage there. Right, it's very nice, yes. Yeah. You're also able to pull some inspection data as well using the Simcoe DNC. Yeah, that's correct. So anything that you want to measure, you can actually print it out and collect the data. So you're not sending a bad part to inspection or to the next operation, yeah. whatever it might right. be. Yeah, right. All that nice. bad work in process that's just wasted money. Right? Exactly. Well, part's looking good so far. We're able to see the bore diameter on the control in a macro variable, but then you're able to revise the cutting process and do some automatic compensation if something doesn't come out quite right. We're able to actually measure the bore and then determine whether it's within tolerance, it's too big, it's scrap, it's too small, we can remachine it. And this is all accomplished within Simcoe probing. We're actually able to do all that and Simcoe takes care of the rest. So you don't need to be a skilled macro B programmer to utilize this functionality. Correct, Simcoe takes care of all of your end numbers, your if then statements, everything. Very easy to use. Really impressive. So Ryan from Simcoe is actually here today and I'd love to talk to him about you know, what they're doing on their side to support this. Yeah, he's here. Let's go grab him. All right, Jesse, how's it going? So I was just talking with Paul on this PTO cover that we're working on. I recommended he try out the Simcoe probing. He seems super happy with it. Yeah, so we're able to accomplish a couple things, whether it's touching off a datum point for him on the XY to set the zero position, not only XY, but also in Z. We're also using an in-process inspection, too, in order to check some bore diameters, some heights, some flatness, and then, of course, output it to the machine and then ultimately collect it with our Simcoe DNC product. The in-process inspection, I saw that you're able to write to a macro variable to, but having the machine do that compensation, kind of take the operator out of it. I mean, that's critical with a lot of the workforce challenges that are out there. And Correct, yeah, especially nowadays with things going more automated, we're able to then utilize, again, with those standard macros, some of the if-then conditions to tell it we have a tolerance to work with. If we fall too high, let's go ahead and scrap the piece, that way the operator knows. But if we're too low, then of course we're going to go ahead and, and comp the machine and then rerun the part again. Yeah, and through a really nice, easy to use interface, kind of a nice panelized interface right inside a master cam. In process, you're, you're able to back plot your cutting operation and then go right into back plotting that probing operation. Of course, yeah. So no need to create if-then conditions or restart labels. Everything's gonna be done automatically for us based on the settings yeah. you tell it. Most MasterCam customers, right, they hear Simcoe, they know Simcoe, the, yeah. the editor's been in MasterCam for decades. Yes, it has. But you guys do a lot of other things too. Yeah, so a lot of customers end up taking that editor that comes with MasterCam and basically put on the back plot and or the machine simulation, along with then kind of complete the loop and go ahead and have the DNC product, the databases to manage those files, data collection nowadays. And you guys do simulation as well. 
We do, yeah. So we have the back plot and the machine simulation. So if it's ever something you want to collision check against and things of that nature, that's where the machine simulation. And that's comes. running the actual G code. So if you made that's a correct. modification to the G code, you could actually see that. That's correct. Well. well, I appreciate you talking to me today. Of course. We're excited for the future of the product and look forward to helping people of need. We'll collaborate soon.